Hello stylish friends, welcome back. This short tutorial will be to help you with creating a corner to corner uh, triangle shawl. Normally when you start corner to corner, you start at the tip of the triangle. We want now this tip to become in the middle of the base of your triangle shawl. So you connect the yarn to one triangle you already made and you start working your stitches. When you start C to C stitch, you always chain six. Now you will make double crochet stitch in the fourth chain uh, from your hook. That will give you two stitches, the chain three counts as a double crochet stitch then you make two more double crochet stitches to finish your corner to corner cluster and at the end you just connect this cluster to your originally made triangle so you're going to the top of the stitch the top of the little square and you're connecting the difference now is normally you will chain six again but in this case, because we are connecting triangle, you chain three. And with the slip stitch, you are connecting that chain three to the top of your next cluster from previous uh, triangle. Now you work in your stitches as normally, all the way to the end of second row. As you already see, we shifted the top of the triangle to the base so now i'm working down to the base of the triangle and i work in my stitches as i will do any time working c to c stitch when i will go back to the top of my new triangle i will always have to use slip stitches to connect my stitches uh, from my new triangle to the old one. This method allows you to increase the base of your triangle and reduce the height. You want your shawl to be comfortable to wear. You don't want to be too long at the tip and too narrow uh, around your neck. So I hope this information is helpful and will help you with the pattern when you're making your new shawl. So let's do this one more time. We start our corner to corner row by making chain six and then making three double crochet. Now I'm working towards the middle of the triangle. Also, I wanna mention if you need help shaping C to C, you might like this video okay so i'm on the last cluster before i connect to my previous triangle and normally at the corner i would chain six but in this case first i need to connect my work to the previous work so i'm making slip stitch next i will do chain three connect to the top of the next cluster again and then chain three and turn my work so as you see working this way your corner to corner looks like it's being worked in one piece i hope you enjoy this pattern see you next time